Vampire Ego Chest. So we are here. We have managed to get the Vampire Egg Chest unlocked, and inside this egg chest, you can get your hands on drones like Hexed Thought. You can get Prideful. Uh, you can't get Sinful or Blood Gold out of these, but you know, free vampire is free vampire. And plus, we get tons of extra jokers and some free perks. So, of course, we shall open it and see what we are given on this fine day. So, which vampire are you putting your your bets on today let's have a look prideful fire augmented that's okay you know even if you get a vampire that you don't necessarily want which i'm fine either way these are just you know free vampires and free vampires you can just throw them on your islands generate the free food easy clap so i think if we'd have been even more active and if i hadn't skipped a bunch of my uh you know runner event stuff this collection right here would have actually potentially been doable which i'm actually very surprised about because normally these aren't doable but of course saying that this collection is just a few joker orbs 50s a decent amount not tons a health perk and then just one of the random orbs for the other dragons so all things considered this wasn't actually that insane of a drop i'd argue the vampire egg was actually a little bit better uh, but, you know, I guess this was actually a fairly doable free-to-play set of collections, which I think is actually quite nice from Social Point. Maybe it was to celebrate the new year, but either way, it was actually doable. And we do still have a couple of chests that we can open up from the events as well. We also have our holiday chests, which we're getting very close to these Halo Dragon Orps. Maybe, uh, but probably not. Uh, free orbs though, I'm never going to complain about those. And then we do also have Dragon TV on at the moment. So lots of free collection stuff ongoing at the Memento. So yeah, I am not going to complain. But following on from that, like I mentioned, we do also have currency to be spending in our maze event. And I will be unlocking more currency very shortly from the quest. Like that's another like 1.7k or whatever it is. So we can get another holiday chest. And you may be thinking, why are you opening so many holiday chest quacks? Well, I can show you in a moment. <laughs> hey, uh, have I made a smart decision? Uh, no, but I have made a decision, which I'll, sh I'll show you it and then you can laugh at me all you want. But I'm actually using these holiday chests to their full potential, believe it or not. Because... Uh, oh wow, we actually got the vial as well. We would have been so close to this collection if I'd have actually logged in for runner. It's so depressing. I mean, I've done a, a lot of runner. We'll get the new dragon, but that's going to be it. Whereas normally we'd be like up to here. It's just going to be so depressing missing out on the gems just. But anyway, regarding the holiday chests, what I was actually talking about, uh, because every time we open up these holiday chests, we get more orbs for duo dive. Well, right now we are currently here with Juro Dive, you can see he's at E4, and on top of us having the E4 orbs, is it going to show me his regular orbs anyway on top? We also have an additional 600 orbs of Duo Dive, so either I can get the rest of these like 300 orbs that we need purely via trading, or we could level up Duo Dive a little bit more, and then basically we can just get the rest of the orbs that we need from his quests. Uh, so, <laughs> I cannot believe how far I've taken it, but we're actually just going to get an E5 duo dive dragon, which I think is just absolutely bewildering. How have I gotten to this stage? I don't know, but it's what I've chosen at this point. I traded out some summon dragon orbs for them, so it's not like we paid tons out or anything like that. And you know what they say? Any E5 is better than no E5. Although we do have a few E5s now, but... You know, is Duo Dive a good dragon? Not really. But they will still have a use in some sort of arena. I'm sure they will at some point. Uh, the only thing to worry about really is the food cost that you're like wasting technically by taking up a, a, a dragon of that category up. But oh well, that's a problem for another day. For uh, HCT quests, I have indeed unlocked this one which gives us free jokers we could go for the 50 jokers as well i can't really see any reason why not uh, the only problem that i've got right now is that we are running quite low on food because i've been spending it like out of the wazoo on random stuff which is what i normally do so there's nothing new there to be honest i don't even know why i'm surprised 
But that is the progress that I've been making. Uh, but like I mentioned, we will have our next quest as well to finish up. So once this maze coin quest is done, that's going to be like an extra nearly 2k. And then we can spend all that, get some more chests open. But man, I feel kind of bad for myself for not putting in more effort with this snow globia part 2. I'm so salty. We could have definitely made it. And the thing is, I missed out on getting the orbs for Globalio, of course, because we didn't go for him in the in the grid so if we ended up getting his orbs that would have been a free dragon that we didn't have but anyway the collector in me can be salty as much as they want i just could not be bothered with the breeding quests otherwise we easily could have done a lot better in this runner event this time i just could not be bothered with the quest it is that simple and it is a hundred percent my own fault for not being bothered um but you know after just 11 days of grinding for heroic crisis it, it gets to you at least it gets to me so, you know, compared to all of that, I would say that grinding out arenas and stuff is actually a lot more chilled, surprisingly enough. But I, I will take what we can get at this point. But regardless, uh, wow, well, you're really going to get two hits on me? How could you do that? That's fine. I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to decimate your Reaper. I mean, your Phoenix with my Reaper. Easy clap. And then we've of course got your boy that can just one shot this this voodoo. Bye bye. Bye bye. Easy clap. But yeah, make sure that you've logged in for your daily insignias and for your New Year stuff. By the way, I did post about this. Was it yesterday? Uh, but we do currently have free free stuff being given out for New Year's. You can get free jokers. I mean, who doesn't love free jokers? God, I do not like the look of this team. Uh, I probably could do it against these enemies, but I'm just not going to risk it. You know, I'm just going to keep going for more KOs. So we're going to throw in our low level dragons. We're not going to risk it for this one. I'll take one battle deficit. It's fine. Uh, because we're mainly just opening up these chests, seeing if we can get more winter signposts mainly. I swear, if we open up the next chest and it's got a vial in it, I'm just going to... That, that would be hilarious. Um... Goodness gracious me, these teams are scary. Okay, that's a lot better. That is a lot more acceptable. Uh, who are we going to throw in? I always want to throw in Mama just because she sort of always works. Uh, yeah, they should be fine. But like I mentioned before, I was fine with this arena as it was before they swapped it over to Open Masters. So I'm actually kind of salty that we don't get to play the Masters Arena as they had it before, because I was doing fine. I know that it was supposed to be Open Masters, but that's not what happened. But, you know, leaves me feeling a little bit of a what if. What if we could have actually done that? You know, I know for a fact we could have, but oh well, it is what it is. Oh, goodness gracious me, why do you have so many damage perks on you, mister? What's been going on in your life? Too much. Far too much, apparently. Um, do we have Reaper perks on you? No, there's no Reaper perks on him. Uh, he still could take out Synco, but I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm going to hope that the AI doesn't one tap us with the, uh, you know, the uh, multi hit attack. Oh, you're just going to dual rebound. That's fine. <laughs> I guess. Uh, well, I'll, I guess he'll, I'll take his dual rebound like that. That's fine by me. That could be much worse, but, you know, sometimes the AI does that, you know, it's just a little bit more HP and it just slams you in the face like that. That's fine. I'll take it. It's like, have you ever seen a vampire in autoplay that just instantly uh, uses their leech on a dragon with like zero HP? I've seen it many times. It, it happens a lot. It really does. Um, but even if we throw a couple of dragons here and there, we're normally fine with this Masters Arena. And this is what I mean. You don't need the best dragons in the game to do really well. I mean, Corrupted Legend is insanely good, and Sinful is quite good. Uh, but it's not like any of these dragons are heroic VIPs that are just like free low, easy clapping everything. It's just, this is just a normal sort of team. You don't need the best dragons in the game. You don't need to be spending stupid amounts of money to do well in your Masters Arenas either. The opponents you go against, especially with skill-based matchmaking, are going to be based on the dragons that you've got. So, you don't have to be going too crazy. Of course, the longer that you've been playing, 
then the more of a concern you're going to have just because you've played for longer therefore you're probably going to have better dragons on average but you know trust me when i say that you do not need all of those heroic vips no matter how much someone may claim that you need them you don't need them to do a lot of your arena battles but i know it's going to be much tougher for those that have really really annoying skill based matchmaking these days because every single one of their enemies is always going to be level 70 heroic vips i get it good lord it's battles like this one holy uh, you don't want to see those every match for instance but uh, at my stage in the game i don't see it every single game in fact it's quite rare that i run into so many difficult fights in a row but obviously the further into masters you go the more annoying it's going to be but holy jeebus creepus that scares my poor soul it really does but i think we should be fine we should be okay here uh actually do we have anything else that's super effective against any of these that isn't nakria uh scaly boy actually should be fine at least one at least one of these boys anyway but uh yeah we should be fine with this we have oh that's a six percent phoenix that's not nice i don't like that at all okay we're gonna have to asphyxia that one then see this is the only problem with phoenix perks these days you expect to be able to take them out with your rapers but then they just have that that dirty dirty six percent dirty dirty six percent i hate it it's even worse when they've got nine percent because it's like usually nine percent is not going to even do anything for them but it just it does enough and that's that's the main thing no Did you see me fat finger that? For some reason I thought that I'd selected Corrupted Legend and my life, please. <laughs> oh dearie me. Oh dearie me. Anyway, we're fine. We don't need to worry about that. As long as we could still win, that's the main thing that matters. And it's an easy clap game, so... My goodness, why? I've done that like once every day at this point. I'm beginning to think that I'm going senile. I might actually be going senile. I think it's very possible. But anyway, let's open up our chest. What are we going to get? Probably nothing additionally. Let's see. Boom. Signpost. Nah. Just see Titan. It's fine. Anything's better than nothing. It's one more towards our collection because, you know, I was pretty lacking with our arena battles for a couple of days. But we're going to keep grinding anyway. We'll see how many of these signposts we get in the end. If we're one away, well, we're one away. Who cares? It is what it is. Uh, but... I do hope that you got lucky with your determination hollow today. I did not. But I'm wishing better things for you. And then there's like nothing to breed. Oh, look, guys, it's Imp Dragon, the dragon that everyone wants because they can never be bothered to get enough dragons to be able to finish legendary rescues to get him normally. Oh, what a sad, sad reality we live in. But anyway, I'm going to be finishing off with the rest of my flight stamps in the runner event very shortly. I'm going to be logging in soon to finish off those quests. So we got a few things coming up and uh, we get enough food. Maybe I'll take Duo Dive to 56 and get the bonus orbs. But it's, uh, it's an E5 Duo Dive coming up before you know it. Wow, it's the most pointless leveling up I'll have ever done in my life. But one bonus is that with Duo Dive, we can have both Duo Dive and Duo Destructor E5. And I think that's pretty cool just because they're both duo dragons. What if we take a third to E5? How cool would that be? You know what I actually need to do? I need to stop being stupid and just using my legendary jokers on Michonne, which I can do, because if I do all of this exclusively via trading, we can just take Michonne or Negan even to E5 during Empower Happy Hours, right? So uh, yeah, I'm going to do that at some stage because we've got well, we're going to have 2,000 legendary jokers soon enough because we're getting them from everywhere. So either Michonne or Negan, I'm not decided yet, but we do have both of them. But one of them eventually, at least, we definitely want to take to E5. But, you know, Negan's basically a vampire, a vampire walking dead. Michonne's just an additional hit one. I'd probably go Negan, but Michonne is bae. Anyway... Good luck. I hope you get everything that you want and uh, I hope you get your hands on the imposter. Imposter dragon.